Hi guys, welcome to the Craft Beer Channel. Uh, my name's Johnny, and today I'm down in sunny, sunny Cornwall. Uh, if you haven't heard it called that before, that's because it rarely is. Uh, I'm here at the Rashley Arms, uh, which is a uh, St. Austell Brewery uh, pub. Uh, and I'm going to be cooking with a guy called Gareth, the head chef, and we're going to be making Cornish pasties with Admiral's Ale. Uh, so follow me inside. So guys, I'm in the kitchen here uh, with Gareth, head chef at the Rashley. Uh, what we've got here is all our stuff for the Cornish pasty. Now you've told me a lot of stuff that I brought wasn't good <laughs> enough. There's no carrots. No rosemary. There's no, no rosemary, no garlic. You know, I'm just, I'm just trying to go Jamie Oliver, you just see, but skirt, whatever. Potato, sweet, onion, salt, pepper. Okay, like, so that's, what we've done is, with our, with our skirt, we've marinated that in Admiral's Ale, made by Oscar Brewery, who I actually work for. <laughs> and we've soaked that for approximately an hour, but it would be a lot better overnight. But obviously with time, we're sort of... So, always meat first. Leaving it, a red edge around your pasta for such a crimp. But then would be the Swede, because that takes the longest to cook. So right, so that's got to go in the top middle of top. it. Up top, even. On top of that. And then, nice bit of onion. And then, lastly, your potato, because obviously that takes the least time to cook, it goes on top. So by the time the heat gets through to the meat in the middle, your Swede will have cooked. That's the principle of it. A little bit of pasta. And then just salt. And pepper. All important seasoning. Plenty of salt. Plenty of pepper. So what benefit are we going to see from marinating the meat? It'll just give you a nice gravy. So it'll, if it was soaked overnight, obviously the meat would then break down a little and it, it, it would get into the fibre of the meat. But this will just give you a slight hint of Admiral's Ale. Lovely. Which is sort of the sweet maltiness hunt, yeah, we're hoping for. Yeah, if you soak it overnight, then you can come in the fridge and away you go. Right, Jack, you can crimp that one for me. Our master crimper. Well, come I on in. I've done it for a long time, <laughs> so you have to bear with me. All right. I heard that where you crimp it depends on where you're from. Absolutely. Yes. The crimp is always on the side. They're always, always on the side. side. And those idiots in Devon? On the top. On the top. Yeah. Philistines. Absolutely. Yeah. There's a little hole in it, I'm afraid. Sorry about uh, that. Right. That looks beautiful. What's that? Put that one on there. there. The top. Yeah, be fine. That could be your air roll. Your air roll. Much more professional than anything I could have managed. I have done it for a long time. Mine would have looked like more like a ravioli, I think. So the pasty's out of the oven. Uh, it's looking beautiful. Uh, how does how do you traditionally eat a Cornish pasty? Do you tear it apart? Do you dig in? Well, this one's actually falling apart, but the best bet would be to grab hold of the bottom and eat from the top. Eat from the top. Absolutely. Thank you for a look. So blindingly hot. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's delicious, and there is a bit of sweetness. Yep. I think the Swede and the yep. veg are slightly caramelised. Nice lunch. Yeah, lovely. Excellent. Is it true that they used to, the pastry was only there at the start? Yeah, the crimp originally was just so the miners could hold it, and then they threw that bit away. Yeah. And half would be fruit, and half would be meat, traditionally. Um, That's beautiful. Did so they eat the pastry? The, they ate this bit of the pastry, and then right. the crimp was where they held it with their oh, all okay. the chemicals, and that, well, like dust nut on their hands, throw the crimp in I the see. bins, and not poisoning themselves. That's well, now we eat the whole thing. Now you eat the whole, eat the whole thing. Screw health, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> well, I can confirm, Amaral's Ale makes for a beautiful Cornish pasty. We also reviewed the beer, so if you click on the bottle, you can see his talk just about the beer. Cheers, Gareth. Welcome. Enjoy your lunch. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>